Gone are the days when talking about cars was a familiar exercise. Horsepower, torque, miles per gallon. But EVs have ushered in a whole new range of benefits and they've also brought a new range of terminology. Watts, kilowatts, kilowatt hours, volts, AC, DC, amps. There's a lot to get ahead around. That's why here we want to try and dig into the details of these new concepts and bring you the bits that you need to know about. Today on the ABC of EVs, we're looking at A for amps. Now, don't worry, there is no electrical degree handed out at the end of this video. We want to know the basics and try and explain them to people who are new to the EV world or want to learn a little bit more. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Martin Lee and if you like the shows we make here, please hit subscribe and then the bell icon so you never miss a show. Let's start with some history. So let me squeeze a few words of history in before we start. It seems that anyone with even a passing interest in cars these days will have heard of Nikola Tesla, thanks to the exploits of a certain Mr. Musk and his company of the same name, making the Model S, the Model 3, etc. On the other hand, not many have heard of André-Marie Ampère, the French physicist and the father of electromagnetism. It was thanks to his influence that we named the base unit of electrical currents, Merci Monsieur Ampère. The basics. Thinking back to when we were probably in school and our teachers were imparting some wisdom about atoms at some stage, we know that we're all made up of billions of atoms. We probably also know that each atom has electrons. In most materials, the electrons like to stick around. Whereas in a material like copper, the relevant electrons are so loose, they can actually pass from one atom to the next. As one electron moves, it knocks the next one on, and thus we have current in a circuit. I doubt this is the first reference to copper wiring you've heard of, and if you're like us and love your EVs, it won't be the last. So let's bring it back to amps then, our topic for today. Well, amp is short for ampere, which you could say is 6.24 multiplied by 10 to the power of 18 electrons flowing through a certain point per second. Okay, yeah, there'll be no test at the end of this. My brain is starting to hurt. Let's move on and put some context on all of this. Let's start with an analogy. The analogy you may have heard of in the past when talking about electrical circuits is the amount of water that flows through a hose pipe. Think of amps in a circuit as the volume of water flowing through the hose pipe. But to make water flow, you need pressure. In terms of our circuit, we call this pressure that pushes the electrons the voltage. So now you have the pressure pushing water through the hose pipe, the voltage pushing current around a circuit. To extend that analogy, bear with me, I promise I'm going somewhere. We could talk about what happens with the water when it comes out at the end of the hose pipe. Let's say it turns a mill, for instance. Now, you could have a lot of water flowing slowly, or you could have less water, but flowing out very quickly. But both result in the same energy created to power the mill. This energy is measured in a unit called watts. In terms of EVs, uh, there's so much energy that we refer to thousands of watts at a time, a kilowatt. So for example, if you have an older Nissan Leaf, we'll just pick at random, that puts out 80 kilowatts of power. Or let's think of a different example, the Pininfarina Batista, that is 1,400 kilowatts of power. Well, that's a lot of power. And you can watch our Batista video. If I point somewhere on the screen, hopefully you're around here. Let's talk about car charging. A lot of us with EVs have home chargers and we say that maybe it's a 3.6 kilowatt or a 7.2 kilowatt. And obviously it goes faster. In terms of amps, we might say it's a 16 or a 32 amp unit. And of course that goes higher as well. Uh, so if you're going shopping for a charger, don't be put off if you see one set of terminology over another. It's easy enough to look up online using calculators that'll convert the two for you. In the world of EVs, another term we come across quite often is a H or amp hours. Now we've already looked at amps and what they are. So what's an amp hour? Well, in simple terms, a 60 amp hour battery can draw 60 amps for one hour and then it'll be empty or 
or it could draw 30 amps for two hours. You get where I'm going with this. Now, any of you watching that have a BMW i3 will be familiar with the term amp hours because BMW mostly bucked the trend in the EV world. Rather than talking about their battery size in kilowatt hours, they referred to their battery capacities in amp hours. And yes, that was confusing for many people with the car going through iterations of 60, 94 or 120 amp hours. Although these days BMW has gone with the flow and refer to their batteries in kilowatt hours now. So that's it from us today. Hopefully you've enjoyed that look at the ABC of EVs. And yes, we know that we can't cover everything off in a video this short. And also, I didn't do an electrical engineering degree. So we're trying to explain this in a way that we hope many people in the EV world or coming into learning more about electric vehicles will appreciate. Do you want to talk more about batteries on this channel? What can we do to help explain EVs more? Get in touch in the comments below and we love to keep the conversation going. Also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and we know to make more just like it. And we'll see you on the next one.